Hey, it's Jonathan Broadwell from Broadwell Consulting Incorporated. Uh, I do embedded systems and medical device development work. If you need help with something like that, give me a call. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at something a little bit different, but that I find helpful. Uh, we're going to be doing a database merge or a mail merge or whatever you want to call it for a brother uh, QL700 series uh, label printer. I have these vials that I keep all of my parts in and I create a spreadsheet to keep track of the parts and I have labels that I put on the vials. So we're going to see how we can take this spreadsheet page that I have and turn it into a series of labels. So you can see we've got a bunch of different columns. This is an Excel format. I'm going to say file, save as, and export this as a CSV file. save and it contains multiple sheets blah 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 that's okay we're only going to stay the active sheets i don't want the active sheet i don't want the other one so now we have that let's take a look at it in vim just to make sure it is what we want it to be and yep looks pretty good so we are going to now import that into our brother ptouch software so here we are we're going to click this box that says connect database that's how we add a csv file double click new layout we're going to connect the database name and in this case i want i know it's on my z drive and i'm going to pick rev controlled parts directory next Oh, I've still got it open in Excel. So let's close it. Okay. Back. Try it again. Aha. Okay, so we've got vial name, size, short name, description. So what are we going to want? Well, for this, for the media, can we say, yep, which, which printer do I need? I've got a couple of different brother printers. I really like these things. Uh, let's see. Can we do a check media? Okay, it found it automatically. So now let's add a, so now we're going to come down here and we're going to right click here and say merge into layout. And what do we want to add? We want to add a text. And the most important thing to me is the vial number. So I'm going to take this vial number right here and just kind of play with it. Arial black is definitely like my favorite of the label fonts. Good and colorful and we'll start with that and then what do we want uh, i also want to know the size so we will say merge into layout and we'll pick size and we'll put that over here and then we will say short name diode fixed frame size with a wrap and that should do it so let's go ahead and print one of these guys and I know that the uh, record the next the last time I printed these I start I stopped at number 164 so we'll start with number 165 uh, print current record and let me start up my phone here and what did I get okay 165 and it's relatively okay but I would like a bigger size on that so I'm going to take this guy and blow him up to about 14 and let's go back to one of the ones that has a size associated with it 
that's better and we'll blow this guy up I think we could probably do a little better than that and it looks like it's auto sizing it to keep it within that frame let's go back to our 165 again and we'll hit print on that again and I like that one better so now at this point let's go ahead and print everything from 161 all the way down to 252 and I'm going to go in here say properties I don't want to cut every I want to strip and just cut it at the end say okay and print and thermal labels are printer thermal printers are fast all right so what do we got we got one that starts at 165 and did it go all the way to the end Yes. There we've got our number 252 uh, female header. So that's a quick example, quick and easy, of how you can do a uh, mail merge or a form merge, print your Excel columns, whatever, through the Brother uh, system of label printers. It's one of my favorite devices that I have. I use it for all kinds of stuff. So anyway, if you have any questions, uh, comments, leave it in the comments below. Uh, if you want to see the larger video that this is a breakout from on how I organize all of my various electronic parts, then if that video is available at this point, you can see a link up above and in the comments below. That's all I have for right now. Have fun and keep making stuff. Broadwell Consulting Incorporated provides help developing medical devices with a focus on developing embedded firmware, which is compliant with IEC 62304, ISO 14971, and ISO 13485, as well as remediation assistance for products already in production. For more information, contact John at Broadwell Consulting. Support requests for Serial Wombat should be sent to help at serialwombat.com and will be answered on an as-available basis. Also, feel free to leave your question in the comments below.